guys, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, I have a special guest, Ryan Teal. Ryan Teal has a YouTube channel called Hairdressing According to Me. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys. The link is in the description below, so go subscribe to him. Also, he did a haircut for you guys for the Free Sauna Education channel, so hope you guys enjoy it. Ryan, what did you do? Matt, I had a great time. It was, it was fun coming in and doing this, and thank you very much for having me. This haircut is all for that woman with huge hair, who I like to call Chewbacca. All she ever wants is, she just wants the hair, instead of going straight out like this, like she usually does, she always has to grow the hair out long. All she ever wants though, is she wants a cute little bob. But she can't have that because God gave her so much hair. So what we did was we did a really quick little haircut where I did what I call pleating, and I, I did two disconnections, so one in the basement and then one what I call the main floor, and I just folded over, cut it, and laid it down, and then laid the, the disconnection over the top of that. And what that does is it compresses that big hair of life ponytail from here to there and then to there. So really what I did was I took that ponytail and then just cut it off by two thirds almost. So when she goes and brushes it out or when she styles it or, or dries it, it's gonna dry in two thirds last time. And then through the roof, I did a really quick little technique which we used to call volumetrics and we bring it over the top and I show you three different ways to cut it, but we do like a quick little uh, increase layer that goes from short to long. It's a super easy haircut and you can use it tomorrow you know, behind the chair. Yeah, and that's the thing guys, I've seen the comments over and over again you wanna see uh, haircut for thick hair. So this is the one. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna get started with the step-by-step. -step. Here we go. So it's important to start with the foundation of this haircut. So I'm gonna cut this all in a 1E because really the, the whole haircut has to do with the interior of the hair. So when we usually cut the foundation, we usually cut with our fingers, you know, holding the hair, and we see a line like that. We see the top of our fingers and that gives us that straight line. When in reality, if you use a comb, you can see what is truly straight. You see that the green comb is straight and horizontal, where the black comb is actually uh, uh, diagonal, and it's going to give us make it long on the right-hand side as opposed to the left-hand side, so it'll be a crooked haircut. So let's just go ahead and bring our comb straight down with very little tension, and I'm gonna use a seven inch scissor to maintain balance and make sure that I'm cutting a nice straight line. And if you notice that when I'm cutting, I'm doing kind of a sewing machine effect. So I'm inserting the scissor and then pulling out as I cut. And the reason why is it is a Japanese scissor. So Japanese scissors are meant to push hair away from the blade. So if you pull back just slightly, you'll be able to maintain a nice even cut and pull all that hair back into your cutting line. So just working right over the ear, making sure there's no tension on that length. So now we're gonna start, we're, we're gonna separate the hair from the front to the back in, at indentation, and then I'm gonna go down into what I call the basement, or some people call the, the occipital or the nape. And I'm, for now, I'm just gonna section that, that front out by braiding it really quickly, just to keep it nice and orderly and tidy. And my hands move really fast when I braid. You, you should try and see if you can move your hands that fast as well. So now I'm in my basement, sectioning all the rest of the hair away, and I'm going to take a profile parting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a profile parting and I'm going to lift that hair straight up. Now tell me, is it you and me forever, oh, 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 or is it just a hit and run? So right up against that scalp, straight up against that scalp, I'm looking for the length. There's my length guide right there. So that is the length. I can cut everything else out legally. So there I am, I'm gonna cut that length or the, that width out. So when I drop it, if I take a cross section of hair, I'll see that I get a mirrored representation of the nape. Since the nape curves in like that, it'll curve out like that in the back. Giving us width, but getting rid of all of that weight in that basement. So I'm gonna do it again on the side. I'm gonna cut it square. Again, straight up, now tell me, is it you and me forever? That is a Paula Abdul reference. And cut. Gonna pass the duchy upon the left-hand side and cut the other side. Elbow up to give me my protractor or my angle. And cut. Now this is very, very important. You need to braid out your disconnection. That disconnection must be braided because you do not want it to touch anything else on that hair. You do not want it to get involved in any of the other floors of your haircut because you will cut a major hole that is unrepairable. So let's go ahead and cut into our main floor. So I'm sectioning out that roof 
and I'm, I'm sectioning the main floor, leaving the main floor down, and you can see that I'm just clipping out of the way that whole top of the head. Some people call it above parietal. Combing, making sure everything is nice and tidy. Giving it a little twirl and a clip. I'm going to go back into that main floor. So she has a whole lot of hair. So I'm going to put a second pleat in. I'm going to start at pro, uh, uh, profile again. And if you look, I'm really cutting. So that's what I cut my length. All I'm doing is keeping my hand as if I'm shifting that hair straight up to cut my length just high. So I'm taking a, a horizontal parting, but I'm holding it vertical. There's my length guide. The same length guide that I had from down below. There's my length guide. And cut. So now that length is going to hang over that basement and collapse that, that hair. So as Chewbacca's hair starts to take off because of the layering, the weight is going to make it lay back down. So that's gonna, what's going to keep her hair straight up and down or like vertical hair. So I'm, I'm going to over direct back into a square. So square layers or square graduation, if you will. Straight up again. Looking for my guide and cut. Straight up, now tell me, is it you and me forever? And cut. So now I'm going to go ahead and braid that main floor out of the way. Just because I do not want that to get involved on any other part of the haircut. Now, through the front, I want to maintain a little bit of weight through the front. So when I pleat it, I'm going to pleat it back towards the upper left-hand side. So I'm going to try and pull away from what I want to keep. I'm looking for the length guide again, same thing I did on the side, and cut. So I want to keep the weight there, so I'm, I'm just going to pull away from what I want to keep. So I want to pull away from that hair right in front of the chin. I'm then going to braid that hair out of the way. And I use a braid because that secures it a lot safer than just a clip. So it's like safe hair cutting. And cut the other side, and then braid. I like to use precautionary tactics. So now through the roof, what we're going to do is I'm going to section her hair back where her part was, where I originally had her part. And I'm going to clip uh, those clips out of the way. And I took a little clue right in the front of her hair. And that's going to give me where her shortest hair piece is, or the shortest layer is going to be. I'm going to pull the hair up over the top of the head, all the way over, right against that scalp. And I'm going to utilize the scalp or the skull to give me the curve of her layers. Because we are going to cut like an increased layer. Now, there you are. I'm going to increase it from short to long. There it could be a, a flat layer, or I can do a, um, what is it, a decreased layer as well. So coming over to the other side. Now, one thing that you want to remember is that what you do on the other side, that's going to be the shortest layer on your other side when it goes back home. So where you cut it, when I'm cutting the hair from the right-hand side and I pull it over to the left, where I cut it, it's going to hit on that same spot on the right-hand side. Combing it out, and we're going to see a really nice little face frame right underneath her chin, right where I want it to be. And do the same thing on the opposite side. You can see my clips protecting my hair so I don't get any of that hair involved because I don't want you know, to, to you know, cut a hole. There's my little clue. I'm going to come straight down. I'm going to increase it from short to long and cut. Come up over the top in the back as well. Catch a little bit from what I previously cut and cut. And in reality, there you have it. That is essentially a 12 section increased layered haircut and there it is cross-section you can see that round and that round of that shape is coming from the round of the skull i have a really hard time cutting round shapes but if you use the shape of the skull you'll get a nice round shape and there is the pleats working there are two huge holes in the haircut that are very scary so don't have your your model do handstands with this haircut but when her hair comes back, you can see all of that hair lay right over the top. So now let's go ahead and blow dry the hair using an Ergo brush from my buddy Robert. And I'm just going to smooth it out quickly with an Ergo brush or with a brush. 
I like to spray my hairspray, like a dry hairspray, on the brush as I work because I feel like if you work hairspray in, you don't spray it on, you get the memory of the hairspray without any of the crunch. Just working that spray in. Making sure it gets nice and hot. So it smooths all of our ends and all, all of the, the little flyaways. You know, you want to treat hair almost like shrink wrap. If you, if you heat it up to get it in place and then you let it cool down, it'll keep it there all day. So through the roof, I'm going to pull all that hair forward. Back in my day, we used to teach our clients to, to flip your hair over. And when they did it, it looked like crap. But when we did it, it looked magically delicious. So I do the same thing, but they don't flip their hair over. They, they just pull all of their, their hair right in front of their face to get that root movement going forward. So when they push it back, it's going to have volume, but not super huge volume. Like, you know, like she's from Texas, you know, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. Up over the top, always reloading my brush with hairspray, straight up, and then twice, and then three times a lady, heat it up, give it a little tuck in a roll, and then drop it like it's hot. So once, twice, three times a lady. And then once it's all in place, I'll usually give it a little misting of hairspray. So now I want to show you my, my personalization techniques. When, when I personalize, I'm not just randomly personalizing. I'm trying to recolor the hair. So I was pointing out where the dark spots are. You want to hit the dark spots and make it lighter like the light spots. So you're actually recoloring the hair as a hair cutter. So there you have it. Dark, light, dark. You're not going to hit the light spots. You're only going to make the dark spots like the light spots. And I'm going to do a little technique I like to call slap cutting. I don't know the real name for it. If you know the real name for it, if you could just write it on a piece of paper and throw it away for me, that would be great. But we're just going to slide the, the scissor in, and then I, as I pull it out from the hair, the gravity shuts my blade, not my actual finger. So the, the gravity does all the work. My wrist does all the work. My thumb doesn't move at all. So work all the way to the front, really you know, lightening that texture up. There you have it, dark and then light. And I could go in and do a deep parallel point cut, but that hair wants to bend over to the side. So it's a lot easier to do this little slap cutting technique for us. And there you have it again. That's the technique right there. It's very important to grow a really long beard while cutting as well. I mean, that will make you, a, if you don't have a long beard, um, you need to get a neck tattoo. That'll make you a better hair cutter as well. So I'm just going to go right around the back. You see where I want a texture. My elbows are up. That's giving me my, my cutting angle. Your cutting angle, angle doesn't come from your wrist. Your cutting angle comes from your elbow. Your elbow becomes a protractor. You always want to have that elbow up or, or tilted because that's going to give you that straight line. You just see me like adjusting my angle to, to cut it. Now I'm going to do a little technique that I like to call whittling. And I'm just going to leave my scissors in one spot. I'm going to pull the hair into my scissor. So I'm not finding a guide anymore. I'm pulling the hair into the scissor. I'm keeping the scissor in one position, and I'm just pulling all that hair into it. And so the scissor itself becomes its, its own guide. And I just open and close it in that one angle. The higher I hold that scissor, the more graduation I'm going to have, or eventually I'll get to layers. So I want to actually kind of etch out like a really cool little line there by keeping my scissors at that almost 45-degree angle. I am using a texturizing shear. shear. It's like a medium tooth texturizing shear with a little bit of a rounded bottom. And that allows me to slip the hair out or to slip that scissor out so it doesn't you know, get stuck or <coughs> on you. And I do keep my hand right on top of my client's head. Just pushing it out of her face. I think it gives her kind of a, a cute little, like, almost like a, a modern-day Jennifer Aniston look. You know, like uh, Jennifer Aniston like in Meet the, uh, what was it, Meet the Millers. There you have it. A quick little increased layered haircut. I hope you liked it.
All right, guys, so if you liked that cut, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to go to Ryan's channel, Hairdressing According to Me, and subscribe there as well. The link is in the description, but here's the cut. Make sure you share this video with all of your hairdresser friends out there, and also, you're on Instagram, right? I'm on Instagram as Ryan underscore Teal. There you T -E -A -L, go. T-E-A-L, like the color. And all of his pictures are sideways. Go check it out. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. See ya.